All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Vanderlei Silva. While no longer just a Muay Thai practitioner, he has become one of the better strikers in this division. And he does not discriminate, champ, whether it's kicks, knees, punches, elbows. He throws the kitchen sink your way. Oh, yeah, he's throwing everything at you, and he comes in that classic Muay Thai stance. He's really high on the toes. He's moving up and down. That back knee's always bouncing. Just let you know, if you try to attack him, he will load that knee up, and he will hit you. And the moment he drives that knee into your midsection, when you start to back out, you got to watch the right elbow coming over the top. And when you fade, he will grab you in that Muay Thai clinch. He'll start to shift position, drive knees into the body, knees into the into the legs. It's just, it's just constant brutality. This is one of the most dominant and most aggressive forms of striking in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the ex-murderer, Andale Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Time the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Slice and elbow from the wrong corner. That only happens if you can gain posture. Oh, 
collar tie. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got four on draw. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Silva gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Boy, Ty Plump. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, nice right hand, John. Silva gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Huge damage from that elbow. Choi gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice straight there by Choi. Try to establish that jab. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing. And I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's going to keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. That knee might have landed there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go. I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go! Single collar tie there. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Great punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Just missed with the left there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He missed with that jab attempt there. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch by Silva. That was a thudding leg kick. Just a slip there. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Silva's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Got the single collar tied. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And they separate. Nice point there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick lands, but hurt. And now he's got that tie clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Back and forth we go. The one-two punch is true. Collar tie now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Shock in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Not there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, big punch land. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the ball. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, single collar tie now. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, misses with the jab. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Silva gets tagged by that stiff jab. Big kick lands. Silva gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave him off. Final seconds here of round two. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Vanderlei Silva. Why don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, 
Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Straight punch on the counter is good by Chor. Silva gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, collar tie. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, just misses with the kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight right lance. Man, look at him load up on that right. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of the latter stages of this fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Visibly limping here. He's looking to land the right just out of range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. A oh, little single collar tie there. Checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, missed on that one. Choi's got the over under now. Lands with the right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Great punch landed with so much power. Switch knee lands to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And they separate. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. That's a big strike right there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And that left hook landed on the button. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Cut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Chor. Lands with the kick. 
kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guards. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's the shit when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Good fight. Got the single collar tie. Silva's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Silva gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. There's no tell on that leg kick. Over under here in the clinch, DC. We'll see how both fighters choose to attack. It's as even as it gets in fighting. Chest to chest, one underhook here, one underhook there. Overhook, overhook. Who's gonna explode into a takedown from this position? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Choi. Big leg kick land. Silva gets in the clinch yet again. Big kick land. Nice elbow. That's how you cut in the corner. Just over two minutes to go. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good stick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh! Oh, 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 
Hoagland. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. Single collar tie now. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win well hard to perform much better than he did tonight a huge knockout under the lights they'll be talking about that one for some time Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never...